So, Novice Chase is again next in the RSA. Novice Chase is the next race. This is a three mile event or next season's Gold Cup horse. He's really the top one. His battle at the hot gates Joshua Sutherland, Fine Fettle, David Robertson, Hot Port, Paul Rhodes, Rambling Rhapsody, Ghost Zapper, Aero Love, Molly Ed Surfer, Mayor Days, Darren Thompson, Pulling Your Leg, Graham Clutterbuck, and Thunderbird, Leon Van Rensburg. So, just eight of them then. And called in. The rain stopped for a little bit, and away we go. So. Maybe the ground might dry up a little for the next race. And Rambling Rhapsody, the grey being pushed into an early lead. Hot Port going with it on the outside. The second of the greys, Fine Fettle. He's just being eased in third place by the jockey. And Mare Days is just settled at the back on the inside. So sorting themselves out then racing down towards the first of the 20 fences in the RSA. And Rambling Rhapsody, the grey is the leader as they get to it. And over it they go and they're all over it nicely. Really safe jumps to the other side. And Rambling Rhapsody leads by a length to Hot Port in second. A gap of a couple of lengths then to Hero Love in third as they take the water. Uh, also for the other side of the water as well. With Mare Days still the early back marker. Uh, Rambling Rhapsody it is and who's now opened up by a couple of lengths. Probably three. As they take the first of the ditches and over that one they all go. Uh, all giving it plenty of air and plenty of respect, taking it safely, landing the other side and getting away nicely. And Rambling Rhapsody over the next plane, one in front. Once again, Mayor Day's a little bit slow at the back, but Rambling Rhapsody now races uphill towards the next. And the lead is now probably five lengths to Hot Port in second, Battle of the Hot Gates on the outside in third, then Thunderbird is four, then Fine Fettle is five, Aero Love on the inside is next as they take the ditch. And Pulling your leg and Mare Days are just about to. But they're all still standing. They're pretty well strung out though already. Which we seem to be seeing quite a lot this season as they take the sixth. Good quick jump by Hot Port in second as they race downhill now. And they'll begin to sweep left handed and race towards that fence that you can see in the distance. And the grey rambling rhapsody is clear. And going well enough by about three to Hot Port in second. Then Battle of the Hot Gates is third as they take the next. And they're all over that one as well. Mare Day's now jumping much better when settled at the back. Uh, rambling Rhapsody it is. Going to be another pillar to post winner after the last race. And uh, Rambling Rhapsody from Hot Port. Uh, Battle at the Hot Gates. Oh, well, the leader's gone. It crashed out. And another one's gone as well. Rambling Rhapsody crashed out and fell. And Thunderbird looked like it was brought down. It tripped over the stricken horse. And Rambling Rhapsody went straight through the top of that one no chance of staying on its feet and suddenly after they were all jumping well the field of eight is down to six with the luckless thunderbird tripping over the stricken rambling rhapsody so hot port's been left in the lead then um, battle of the hot gates is second aero love is third and fine fettle is four and then comes pulling your leg five and mere is six as they take the ninth and this time it was pulling your leg who gave it a bit of a wallop and suddenly the jumping's been going a little bit novicey as they race past the screen and jump the fence that'll be the last on the next circuit. And the jumping will need to improve or there will not be six of them when they come back past this point next time round. Racing away from us then now and down towards the first fence on the back straight which will be followed by the water and hot port. I'm sure it wants to be in the lead. It was left there by the fall of Rambling Rhapsody. And the lead... He's a good two and a half, three lengths to Fine Fettle in second. Aero Love on the inside is third. Battle of the Hot Gates four. And Mare Days and pulling your leg as they take that one. And they're all over that one. Okay, the loose horse jumping round for fun. Here's Thunderbird. Hot Port leads by about a length. At the water jump now then. All safely over that one with Hot Port the leader. Fine Fettle on the outside, second. Two of the fancied runners gone. And hot Port over that one in the lead. Fine Fettle looming up on his outside. A little gap then to Aero Love on the inside as they take this plain one. And jumping that one nicely. With Battle at the Hot Gates in fourth. Mare Days creeping closer in fifth. And pulling your leg, which made a mistake or two, still the back marker. So Hot Port then. To this ditch all over that one okay with hot port about a length that are good for aero love on the inside of fine fettle the great gap of a couple of lengths then back to battle at the hot gates as they take that one mere days alongside battle at the hot gates and pulling your leg 
just on the outside so it's three and a three really at the moment and hot port in the lead and get down towards the business end of the race hot port fine fettle and arrow love over it together with a slow jump by mayday's day's battle at the hot gates He's back in fourth, but this leading group of three has still got a good two or three lengths on the remainder. But Mirdes is now trying to join it and make it a four, and so too is Battle at the Hot Gates pulling your legs, also trying to get into it now as well. So over the third last they go, and it's Hot Port still in the lead. Hot Port from Fine Fettle in second. Then comes Mirdes and Aero Love pulling your leg is next. Battle at the Hot Gates caught a bit flat footed under. We're losing one there. Aero Love has been pulled up, so something must have gone wrong with that one. And Hot Port is now four, four lengths clear. Four lengths clear now the leader. Hot Port as they begin to swing towards home with just two more fences to take. Hot Port looks to have this one at his mercy now in the lead. Fine Fettle chasing in second. Then Mirdes and Battle of Hot Gates pulling your legs after that one. At the second last they go and Hot Port's over it clear with Battle of Hot Gates now moving into second. It's Hot Port one to jump for long and half to race. Down towards the final fence they go. Hot Port skips over it nicely in the lead. Battle of Hot Gates got everyone in this now moving into close but Hot Port is surely clear enough in the lead. Inside the final furlong they go. Hot Port's in front. Then comes Battle of Hot Gates, this looks like it's going to be one for Paul Rhodes as they race into the final half furlong. Hot Port it is, it's going to take it up towards the line. Hot Port takes the RSA, Battle of the Hot Gates is second, Meadows ran on well into third, then pulling a leg and fine fettle, and they were the only ones to finish with Thunderbird and Ronald and Rhapsody crashing out early, and Aero Love being pulled up in the straight, but Hot Port takes it for Paul Rhodes. Battle of the Hot Gates second for Joshua Sutherland. Mere days for Darren Thompson was third. Then pulling a leg fourth for Graham Clutterbuck. And fine fettle fifth for David Robertson.